Hello and welcome to another episode, a special episode of Cards for Fragrance. I'm Carissa. I'm Tierney. And today, if you cannot tell, is a different video. I wasn't sure what to call this one. I was going to call it dark and elegant. We were going to call it elegant goth. But then I realized there are over 34 types of gothic people out there, or I should say gothic style. So we're just going to call this gothic bride fragrances because on your special day, even if you're a goth, you want to feel beautiful and feminine. And we have nine fragrances here. Um, so I just, a quick disclaimer, I'm not a goth expert. I had a couple ideas and Terry said, do not do that. People will come through in the comments. <laughs> So yeah. we're just keeping this very light and fun. Mm -hmm. I never really had a goth moment in my teenage years, although growing up in Southern California, I was into like ska music and kind of punk and we like wore clothes from the thrift store, but I was never goth. But I think it's a, it can be a very beautiful fashion style. What were you gonna say? Um, this video is goth <coughs> adjacent. <laughs> also, <clears throat> I am emo and goth at heart. Today it shows a little bit more than usual. She really is. But, I appreciate that about her. Yeah. She's very straightforward, which yeah. I'm not sure if that's emo, but and she does have her moments. Speaking of, of yeah. gothic mm. brides, I, my dream still now is to have a black wedding dress because I think it'd be really cool. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, just a quick side note. Sarah which Jessica, I'm never getting married, but Sarah, don't say if that. something terrible happens, Sarah those, Jessica my Parker, plan goes awry and I end up getting married. <laughs> Sarah Jessica Parker actually got married in a black wedding dress, and many years later, she says she actually regretted it and wanted she's to do that one. True emo. I think it's because it's like traditional. But anyways, let's let's get going. Anyway, okay. So I just want to say thank you so much to our subscribers. Um, we are a very fun family here, a fun fragrance family. So thank you to our subscribers. If you like this video, I do plan on doing more themed videos in the future because I, I'm not sure about you, but when I watch fragrance videos on YouTube, sometimes I just like see the same pink bottle, the same high heel bottle, and I just feel like. The titles can be kind of stupid, like how to get a man. You know, I don't want to say all the names because yeah. some of them are not appropriate. Like panty droppers, it's like awful. But there's, like, yeah, <laughs> she doesn't know. But there's like videos that are named that. Maybe yes. we'll even do like week leading up to Halloween. Like we'll do scary themed videos. Okay, I kind of like that. If you guys would like that. Comment down below. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the scent that actually kicked this off in my imagination. I was like, oh, this smells so good. It's deep. It's dark. It's elegant. We should do a Gothic Brides video. So that would be Tiziana Terenzi's Ladano Nero. Oh, the cap is like the cap kind of came sort of wonky, but this is gorgeous. I'm just gonna spray it in the air because we actually have to play volleyball later. Well, you're not playing. I'm gonna play volleyball later. I'm on a local volleyball league, and I'm like, oh, should I leave the makeup on? I don't know. But let's. Your this? skin's gonna break out if you work out makeup. You probably will. Smell. Okay. Okay. So this is gorgeous, okay? This is, to me, traditional goth. So this fragrance represents traditional goth, okay? Your traditional gothic bride. This is incredibly rich, dark, smoky, and boozy. It's a powerhouse of booze, okay? It's very good. The oud in this is almost too much, but then it's really, I think it's perfect. Yeah, that was loud. Um, this is addictive, and for some reason when I spray this, and I told her this earlier, she thought it was kind of weird, but it's like hard to describe. Even though this is not sweet like a gourmand, it does have some like honey balsamic touches. For some reason when I spray it and smell it, it like makes my mouth water, but I don't know why. The vampire in me, I guess, it just makes my mouth water. <laughs> okay, so this, it could be a cousin to black Afghano. Afghano, I said that word. Black Afghano. <laughs> Afghano, yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, well, you don't know that. I think it's from, like, Nazimoto. I probably said that wrong. I'm not... Yeah, it's it's a fragrance house. It's a, it's a oh. very well-done, dark, woody, patchouli fragrance, okay? So this is not for the faint of heart. It's not for newbies. Um, it's just absolutely memorable. Yeah, it's very strong. There's almost kind of, like... Not even... Not cough syrup. Oh, jeez. Not go cough syrup it. quite, but it is almost... It almost has, like, like, the, like that sharp, like, kind of, like, tang to it. Yeah. It does. I'm not going to go over all the notes, but if you know this fragrance, because it's actually pretty popular in the fragrance community, it has, I want to say, like 16 notes. There's a lot in there. So we're not going to go over the notes of every fragrance because we have Google. You guys have Fragrantica, which sometimes is wrong, but sometimes they're right. So you guys can look at that, okay? So moving on to the second one. This is for the hippie goth. Now, when I Googled the different kinds of goth people out there and goth styles and subculture, I thought it was really cool that there's like a hippie goth. So I'm not really into like renewable energy i do try to conserve i try to reuse because i feel like obviously that's the responsible thing to do but i'll be honest my generation wasn't really into like save the earth necessarily but i think it's really cool when um companies do anything they can to either be clean or green obviously you don't test on animals so the next one is hermetica and hermetica is perfect for hippie goth because hermetica is a water-based clean green and vegan fragrance house okay so their perfumes are water-based which is fabulous because that means you can spray them in your hair on your clothes i mean on your furniture if you wanted to and it won't harm them 
So Red Moon by Hermetica is perfect for the hippie goth because of those mm. reasons of being sustainable, green. I love this fragrance. I, I want to say this might be discontinued because when I went to look for it, I found it on Fragrance X and it wasn't on the Hermetica website. So if it is discontinued, I would go out and buy it, okay? Oh, it's okay. Just leave it there. So Red Moon is earthy. It's very spicy. <laughs> It has amber in there. Um, this is a concoction that I want to buy a full-size bottle of. I find this sexy in a very heady way. Um, there's also leather. To me, this is a very intense, spicy, earthy blend. What do you think? There's almost an off note, but then it kind of comes yeah. together at the end. I think that's the saffron. I don't, know, yeah. I don't think your nose is really that tuned to saffron. It's like that spicy off smell that you're smelling. No, but not in a bad way. Like, okay. it's just, it, almost, like it almost smells off, but then it kind of wraps itself back up at the end of like the notes oh, that you're smelling. Yeah, he said that wraps itself back up. This is oh, like falling out. It is, is okay. So for the next one, I have heard of this type of goth before. It's called pastel goth, okay? So you go ahead and spray this on yourself. Um, oh, actually show it to the camera first. Anemone by Blackbird. You oh, do, the, you do like that cool thing, go ahead. I'm like such a mom here. Do that thing with your hand. <laughs> my hands are huge on my word. No. Okay. Anemone by Blackbird. Go ahead and spray it. This is the girl next door with a secret. Okay. So this bride is pastel goth bride. Oh, this one smells like something. I, I like this. This is so unique to me. So this is fruity burnt sugar with a fizzy quality because there's a champagne note in this. So this has a fizzy quality to it. Okay. There is also a plum and a tobacco note in there that adds this really cool like dark edgy vibe so you're gonna hear that word a lot every every one of these uh fragrances that i curated for this video have a certain kind of dark je ne sais quoi about them that i thought would be did perfect did you wear this on like a vacation or something i don't think i've ever worn that are you sure i there's did like, get a sample of that from old okay, wait, but there's like a ago. note in it that it kind it almost smells like maple syrup but like in a weird way Do you know why there's honey in there so this honey which Doesn't you don't, you don't like honey in, but don't you like this one I don't mind She's not it. into it's, honey. It's a little it's bit off-putting because of the honey. Okay. Because <laughs> I hate honey. She does. I love honey. I hate it. I, hate the way I, do. I don't like okay. anything about it. But besides, it smells like... Oh, you know what? It kind of smells like that one... There's that... ambergris in this too, which gives it a really cool mineral edge. There's, it yeah. kind of reminds me of that one, like, coffee lux or something. What is it called? It's from... Oh, what? That one cologne. It's like, not cologne. It's that one. It's like coffee... Coffee addict? No, it's a from it's a perfume. Yeah. Well, let's get, we'll get back to this. If you know what she's talking about, put the comment we down below. It. If you don't like what she's talking about, put the thumbs down. <laughs> if you like this video, click like. We we have this fragrance, Coffee Lux. That doesn't sound familiar. Or, oh, Coffee Lush. There, we go. authenticity there we go. perfumes. I got it. You're, you know what? You're actually right. This does kind of smell like that. So does it, don't you get that a little bit? That's kind yes. of what it reminds me of. So it smells like Coffee Lush. Authenticity perfumes makes not their, Lux. That's my bad. I yeah, forgot. they make very good fragrances for men and women. They are, are so strong. They're very they last yes. forever. Okay, so let's get back to the Sorry, list. Sorry, back to. So this is very well done. It's very unique. Um, like I said, there's an amber green note on this that goes really well. That kind of gives it that like mineral facet, sort of like oud mineral from Tom Ford, but not as like plasticky. This just adds like a little bit of a mineral vibe. All right, so moving on, I did have to write notes because I would never remember everything. Okay, so the next one. This one? Um, it's called, I actually left it on the table. Can you go behind this and go get it? It's in the olfactive box. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought I had all the fragrances and I did not. We're going to push pause. We'll be right back. Okay. Okay. So sorry about that. Um, I actually pushed stop and I forgot there's a pause button. Hello. Okay. Which one? Okay. So we are going to be looking at, Cicle? yep. Fendi Cicle by, <laughs> that's okay. Fendi Cicle by Libertine Fragrances. Okay, so this one is a Victorian okay. goth. Can you not see this? Is, this was like perfect. I was so I excited. There's kind of like that dusty smell. Yes, very Kind of like good. mildew. Yeah, oh, okay. Kind of like, like Kittner Mill. <laughs> okay, that's a nearby house. Or a nearby house. A nearby store. I don't even what? know. It's like an antique. Yes, yeah, so it's like wood and cedar. Okay, let's get back. Okay. So Fin de Cicle from Libertine Fragrances is not just any Victorian. This to me is French Victorian. So for some reason, this would be the rose in Beauty and the Beast, okay? This is like dark, brooding, and magical. It's a jammy rose. I also wrote down that this is kind of, it's a jammy rose. It smells like jam. It's a I jam. know. It's this has an Egyptian rose in it oh, that okay. um, gives it a very serious femininity. And there's really? also civet and cedar, but the civet in here, so I don't like civet in everything because it can yeah. smell kind of funky. It can smell like and fecal. Doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're growing up, we say fecal. Yeah. So this is just so cool. I didn't actually love this at first. I thought it was a little old smelling, but the more you smell it, you really yeah. appreciate the vintage vibe of, mm -hmm. of this. Okay. So there's also black currant and cedar in this, if I didn't say that, that kind of um, gives it like a fruitiness that really backs up the jammy rose. 
All right, so the next one is going to be Moth by Zoologist. Okay. Moth by Zoologist. I just got a sample. This actually just came in like two days ago. Thank goodness, because this one I specifically picked for the video. Um, I, I can go ahead and spray it. I sprayed it on oh, myself. It's kind of almost like yellow -ish. So the notes in here, I'm not going to go over all the notes, but there's a lot, okay? So I wrote for this. Spray it on your hand and smell it while I talk. My hand? This is for... What? Uh, yeah, spray it on your hand. <laughs> oh. The, I know, it's very odd. Ethereal goth, okay? This is for the ethereal goth. This is otherworldly to me. It's a, very, it's a very hazy romantic scent, but not right away. When you first spray it, it's a little off-putting, I'll it be honest. It smells like a fog machine. Yeah, oh, yes. So it's very, I feel like it's, it's airy. very, it's like it's almost like oaky, like a, like a cedar. There's a lot like of wood. Yes. There's a lot of wood. It definitely smells like the woods, like photorealistic yes. woods, fog machine, so even thriller though, music video. <laughs> <laughs> so really we're not going to go over all the notes. I will say the opening top notes Ooh, are really weird. Funky, I know. Good? Our, our black pepper, cinnamon, clove, cumin, lemon, nutmeg, and saffron. So there's like citrus, sharp, cumin can smell like BO a little bit, or body odor if it's not done right. And then it goes into dusty heart flowers. So the heart of this has dusty flowers. Let me say that backwards. <laughs> this also kind of smells like a furniture store. It does kind of. Yeah, it gives it that dustiness. Like that so the heart old notes. cushion. Ooh, yeah. The hard <laughs> notes are heliotrope, iris, jasmine, which I feel like sometimes they can be kind of dusty, which gives you that dusty quality. Mm -hmm. The dry down on moth is actually really good. It does not smell anything like the middle notes and the top notes. The dry down is a very well balanced guayac wood, and there is also it's like an ambery woodiness, and I think there's also cedar in there. So it's, it's like funny. wood. It's like woods in the dry down, but they're very well done. You don't get any of that cumin or cinnamon in the it's base. It's funny because this smells really weird, but like I want to keep smelling it. I know. It I like that weird. It also yes. kind of smells like an envelope. So like I wrote, that, like, uh, adhesive. Oh, it does? Let me smell. I feel like it smells like how adhesive tastes. Oh, it does. Smell. Okay. Oh, it was like three minutes. I, I forgot I pushed off. <laughs> I was like, we've only been recording three minutes? Okay. <laughs> only three. So I said about moths, just to kind of put everything together mm -hmm. and to make this succinct. Um, I said that this was artsy, and I could see why some people would just appreciate the novelty of moth. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't, they would never wear it on their body because it could be off-putting, but I mean, to each their own. I feel like... Wear what you want. A man who runs a coffee shop would wear this. A man? You don't think it's feminine at all? I mean... Not really. I think it would take... I feel like most women don't want to smell like this. I think you're right. I feel on like some it's of the a little bit on more off they said that. you know. It is, yeah. It's very yeah. unique, for sure. But, yeah. Okay, so our next one, we're already on perfume number six, okay? We have one that is for Siren Goths. Okay, this is for the set notes. For, it's the big bottle. This is for the Siren Goth in your life, okay? okay? So if you are somebody that loves mermaids, but you like the actual sirens, not Little Mermaid, but like the ones that like no. eat men's souls, okay? <laughs> this is Smolder Rose. Can you go ahead and hold it, hold it up or spray it first? Mm, oh, I just got some eyeball. January Scent Project has made this gem of a rose fragrance, okay? Now let me just tell you that I did not like this the first time I smelled it in our store. It's a little plasticky. It's kind of odd in the beginning, yeah. And I ha it had to grow on me. I tried it first in the summertime, which was not a good idea because it's very it can be kind of heavy and thick. But then there's also like a freshness mm -hmm. to it. But in the winter time, I wore it, and it's just it's so cool. So let me just tell you what's in here. Why I picked this for the Siren Goth Bright, okay? There is notes of rose, of course, and there's also a note of roasted seashell, which I didn't actually pick out until I read that. I was like, oh, you know what? I kind of get like that salty, briny. I can't smell water. That, so I wrote this is. A frothing dark sea with mermaids <laughs> playing in it, okay? But like the scary siren mermaids, okay? Yeah. And so this also has a salty freshness to it, like that ozonic quality that you get in other fragrances. But the rose in here is so gorgeous. And for people that yeah. don't like rose, it doesn't I would say smell try this like one. It smells like rose, but different. It doesn't smell like that fragrant rose that you classically smell. It kind of smells like yeah. the roses that don't really smell like right. a rose. And the whole thing is like very smoky and ambery. There's like a yeah. smoky ambery, but yet fresh quality to yeah. this. And I also wrote that there is elderberry in this, which is like a part of the Sambuca family. And so you get kind of like that berry that kind of backs up everything else. Mm -hmm. I just, you have to try this. I think it's gorgeous. I think this bottle, which before I forget, this one was also on loan to me from work. This bottle is only for 100 ml is 145 or you can get a 30 ml for 65. So it's very well priced and one, two sprays will last forever. Let's just say like eight to ten hours, not forever. <laughs> okay. So for forever and ever. Forever and ever. You're so never gonna shake this scent. Never. You're gonna scrub it off and it will haunt you. It will haunt you like a haunted house. It'll haunt you okay. like 
a haunt. So the next one is, oops, you turned too fast. I Thanks know. for helping. <laughs> the next one is going to be called Ghost Pine by Lunea, but it's spelled L-V-N-E-A, like the, is that the Roman way to spell it? Latin way? What? Um, it's L-V-N-E-A, but it's pronounced Lunea. Ooh, ugh. Lunea. <laughs> so this is called Ghost Pine. And let me tell you, let me just tell you that I freaking love this perfume. I'm going to get it's a full-size dramatic. bottle of it. I, it's very dramatic, but it's because it, this is like so... Oh, look I at that sprayer. I know. This is hauntingly beautiful. Okay, this is one Ooh, of the most... Like a delectable this meal. Is one, it does? This is one of the <laughs> most... It has, you know what? No, I take that back. It has almost like a rosemary. This is one of the most beautiful, achingly beautiful fragrances I've ever smelled, Okay. This is natural and crisp. It has such, I put it, has such an atmospheric quality to it as if you can feel the chill in the air of a forest. So it's still autumn, but like snow is coming. So you have like crisp leaves on the ground that you're stepping on. Mm. There's like pine needles. It smells like a salad. I don't get the salad. Mm, like a really, I don't get the like salad. salad. Don't listen to her. Don't, don't listen Without the salad. dressing, like a salad. Like... But there's not even rosemary in here. I think there's okay. Salad. It smells very Christmas. Like when I smell this, it reminds me of Christmas in our hometown, which is like a stupid little thing that our town does. It's fun, okay. It's anyway. It's, I it's, love this. Perfume. It's this thing that our town does, and it reminds me exactly of that. Cause like you know, there's like that the big tree. There's I decorations. Like the there's the lights. There's a, yeah, there's like terpenes. It smells in this exactly find, like Christmas. The molecule that you find in trees, terpenes. It's very yeah. terpenic. To, yeah, to me, it's okay. just very like Christmas. It doesn't really remind me of anything. It's gorgeous. Else. Okay, it's gorgeous pine and pine needles, and there's also a mossy note in this. So it really smells like cold mossy air i don't know how to describe it. Yeah. you have to try it it's yeah. beautiful this is not go good in even like the warm days of autumn it goes really good when it starts going towards winter but it's so autumn if that makes sense all right so our next one is going to be eight okay so finally here we go so this one is fun one my husband actually named this, this goth okay yes aaron's terrence hughes okay terry always says aaron's terrence hughes it's did aaron, i just say that again you did it's aaron terrence aaron <laughs> terrence hughes we just say ath okay this is Onyx. This is Onyx by ATH. This is this one's really I love this one. This is Red Velvet Goth. Okay, so this I asked my husband to help me with a name for this because this to me smells like one of those cool goth girls that's on like those cupcake championship uh, baking shows and she has oh, all these really cool tattoos, but she's like goth, but she can like yeah. bake like you know what? Okay, so he named it Red Velvet Goth. So this is a dark brooding cupcake smell. Even though there's not really any chocolate in this, I get like such a Thick, rich, like gourmand vibe. Okay. Mm, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you the notes of this, and you comment down in the comments if you can, if you've ever smelled this before, and if you also think it has a gourmand smell to it. So the notes are Thai oud, musk, patchouli, plum, vanilla bean, tincture, ambergris, and rose absolute. So I'm not sure if it's the vanilla bean with the oud, but it just has like a foody gourmand smell. Yeah. And there's this also is, a little bit of like a sharp. There's almost it's like that's probably the Thai oud, like anime. -like. <laughs> I have something to say that might be off putting. Uh oh. But I don't mean off. It smells like the play place in McDonald's <laughs> when you walk. It smells like that plastic and like the um, old, I'm like, hiring. I'm gonna be hiring a replacement for car care fragrance. <laughs> like, Just all you have to do is apply like below. The, wait, like no, like it really. <laughs> Like there was the like play that play place. Oh, want to just, that. just like that. I'm slight, not selling these. That but. slight note at the end. It smells like the play that. place. No, like the greasy food. The little kid hands. That is gross. The this is gorgeous. Plastic. Like the pla no. You get just that? right at the end. It smells like the McDonald's. I do not get that. <laughs> Maybe it's just our McDonald's. Thank goodness I'm not selling these and making a commission off. Hey, of I didn't say it was bad. It's just right at the end. You I would just get that be. I would be S O L. Okay. I would be out of luck. Hey. Honesty, you are not on my team. Honesty or, is okay. the best policy. Well, I'm I think this is. Honest. I think that you are entitled to your opinion, and that's actually what's fun about fragrances. You smell that. I don't smell that at all. I smell like a really photorealistic McDonald's, McDonald's place. One. Okay, McDonald's. Don't come for us in the comments. Okay. All right. So the final one. Oh, before I forget, this one, I think, <laughs> is thick and rich, and there's no mayonnaise. Okay. So the final one is one that I've had in my collection for a while. Um, I actually love it. I didn't love it at first. I, I actually had it love it. Me. Don't. Do you love this? Tell me otherwise. No, I mean, no. Oh, I was like, do you love this? Well, I'm so excited for you. Okay. No, sorry, so you guys have probably heard of this one before, but if you thought you didn't like it or it's not that special, revisit it in the cold temperature. Black Perfecto, Le Petite Robe Noir by Guerlain. Okay. This is a gorgeous sour cherry fragrance. This one that, is good. I do like this one, actually. See, you were making fun of me. This one gets better the longer that you wear it. It is so, like, elegant but dark. There's, like, yeah. this dark vibe to the 
to this. So I wrote that this, oh, I'm sorry. So this is for your Lux Goth. Okay, this is like your elegant Devil Wears Prada Goth Bride. Okay. Yeah. This is elegant, cool, aloof, haute couture, sexy with dark underpinnings. There's a certain je ne sais quoi to this. Um, yes, dark underpinnings in your personality yeah. and maybe in real life under your clothes. I don't know whatever you're wearing under your clothes, right? People might wear like dark corsets would be like, you know, kind of mm, sex underneath. Maybe. They might be. Um, okay, so I, I also picture this this bride wearing floral fishnets, okay? Okay. And also carrying a black lace parasol. Okay. This leaves behind this like hypnotizing warm cloud around wherever you go. I just think it's like captivating. It is just absolutely beautiful. This is actually backup bottle worthy. I will be buying a backup bottle of this. I don't know how much is left. The only thing I don't like is you can't see how much is left in there. Um, but when it first came, it actually came two winters ago and I couldn't really smell it. So I thought maybe I got like a dud bottle, but then I, I think it just had to actually macerate in the bottle. I think you're like halfway. Yeah. So I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I'm actually gonna wear it tonight too. Our, so the notes in, yep, to, to volleyball, I'm going to look amazing in my goth makeup. Did I say goth? In my goth makeup. Dwelling. <laughs> and then I'm also going to wear that. Okay, so the notes are sour cherry, almond, black tea, licorice. You do have to like licorice for this, although this is not licorice forward. It kind of adds like that little yeah. extra depth to it. Rose, leather, tonka bean, patchouli, and black musk. So that was our video for today. Please comment down below which one was your favorite, which one sounded the most exciting, which one kind of surprised you, and which one yeah. you smelled and you absolutely hate and you think it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Or even more fun, comment down below which perfume you think smells like McDonald's Play Place or some place yes. that is undesirable. Is that all? I think that's all. That's all. Okay. Bye, guys. See ya.